Right, time to focus on the product viewer which comes with Unreal Studio. So let's launch Unreal. There we go. And then we will load this product viewer. So you go to your new project. Here's the product viewer. It has this content already in there. It's all predefined, so it's easy to set up. And you just need to give it a name, which might be product viewer sample. <coughs> and we create the project. Project is now being created and this full template will be loaded. So you have all the functionality at your fingertips. And it's basically pretty simple, but let me show you how it all works. So this is the template. The template comes with some content already and it's all preset. So if you just press the play button, you will see this menu. You can start the application in desktop in this time and you can swirl around, you can focus with this dot and then swirl around the object, you can grab your objects, move them around and if you want to return them you can do that with the right mouse button by highlighting them. There is a thing which is called oops, um, X-ray mode, so if you highlight an object and you press your spacebar you can say apply X-ray and you can see that this one is now being X-rayed as a material. Now let me do it again and do isolate. So this one will now remain with its material and all the other stuff will become x-rayed. Uh, so that's the basic functionality which you already got and then let me remove the x-ray and let me stop it. And let's go to the right side down here and have a look at what is all in there for you. So the lighting has been set up with a light source. So let's frame it. There it is. It's a light source, it's a post-processing volume, so be sure that if you add some other models and they are bigger to increase the size of your post-processing volume, there's a skylight already there and there's a reflection dome. Uh, then we have the environment sphere, which is the sphere which surrounds the whole screen. We have a text part, which is this, and it points you towards the docks for the Unreal. So you have your help files and they are here. So in the Unreal Studio there's the Unreal Studio template. Uh, it gives you all the input on how and what but it's basically what I'm telling you now. And then we have the interactive route and the interactive route is the most important point because it holds everything inside the scene and it has the sample mesh which is that one. It has a spotlight, the small light which gives some extra details and it gives all these parts which have been imported with Datasmith for instance. Um, these are the parts and as you can see they have to be movable because you want to interact and that's why you can interact with them inside your browser or inside the play. At the bottom of this there's the product viewer collector which is basically the blueprint so let's open it and it's the blueprint which makes sure that you're able to use this template in short. Of course there are more details but that's the basic. Um, if you want to play you have two options, the orbit mode and the flying mode. Orbit mode means you control your end result with the mouse and flying mode means you control it with the keys. So arrows and uh, Q, W, A, S, D and so on. So depending on what you choose, you will have a certain way of looking around and moving around. Then you have the tele teleport surface, which means this surface is available for you to teleport when you're using your HTC Vive or whatever product you want to use. So that's basically it. Now this one, so the interactive route is the beginning part and this, so the product viewer, defines your starting position. So if you want to have a different starting position than looking like this and moving around, you need to go here, get your interactive and put it in a different location. I will do it a little bit off. Put it here and you can see now the starting view has changed to where I have placed this interactive route. Um, so that's basically it. So all you need to do basically is replace all these parts, throw them away, you don't need them, you don't need the text, and then you can import 
through Datasmith or regular import from files. You can import all your models in here, but I will do that the other time. In the end, you want to publish <coughs> your uh, your package, your project, and you can do it in a Windows, for instance, or in all the other options which Unreal gives you. So that's basically the functionality you get. Down here you can see the structure, you can see the blueprints which contain all the logic for you already and you can see the materials so you can have a look around in how it's set up, how it works and what the basics are of this. But as you can see it's all predefined, it's easy to do it, it gives you the swirl, it gives you the focus, it gives you the x-ray by holding the space bar and that's about it. So easy for you to get started.